Hey, groups. Um, it is so exciting to be back with you guys again. It's been a long summer, I'm sure, for some of you without meeting, um, but so excited for this fall and this new series um, and just being able to dive into content again with you guys. Um, I'm so looking forward to this next season. Uh, we right now are in a series um, looking at our words and the power of words. Uh, the series is called Sticks and Stones. And last week we talked about this idea that sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Um, and we may have said that as a child growing up. We may have said that even recently, but we know that that statement is pretty far from the truth, right? Words can hurt us and words have power and they have so much meaning. Um, and this past week, um, Pastor Aaron, Eric spoke on James uh, 3 and tied in a few Proverbs that I actually want to read that Proverbs for you a minute. Um, Proverbs 10 verse 19 says, sin is not ended by multiple wor- or multiplying words, but the prudent hold their tongue. Um, and Eric spoke about the many ways that we use our words, right? And how hard it is if we, if you're anything like me, there's times when you just start digging a hole, right? And you keep using your words and you try digging yourself out of the hole, but you just keep getting deeper and deeper. Right? There are ways that we use our words that just dig us a deeper hole. Um, and throughout Eric's message, he pointed that sometimes less words are actually the best way to go? Um, what would it mean to listen more as, as somebody who wants to just listen and not add so much into a conversation? Um, ask questions, ask, asking good questions, not talking about yourself and not boasting about the good things you have done, but allow other people to speak into you. So, This week, we're going to be diving into groups content on that, uh, what it means to use our words less. Um, What you'll see, um, we have some, have these printed off for you. We're going to actually have these at church if you want to pick these up uh, for as group leaders, if you want to pick them up for your whole group. If you as an individual in a group want to pick these up to have, uh, to prepare for your group's content during the week, feel free to grab these. But one thing it says on the side, it says fast. You may not be able to see that from here, but fast. So this week it's the silence for one hour. Um, And Eric challenged us to do that every single day. Find a time in your day to fast for one hour. Um, And preferably not when you're just sleeping, when you're like, oh, this will be super easy. I'll do it in between the hours of 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. Right? Actually challenge yourself to do this in a time where it may actually be kind of hard. Um, And then the thing under that, it says take away. Um, As groups this year, we really want to hold each other accountable to the things we talk about. Because if we just talk about things and don't actually go do it, That's not helpful in our transformation of becoming more and more like Christ. So we're going to try some different things in groups this year uh, to hold each other accountable um, and to really dive into the Word of God. So I'm so excited uh, for what this year holds. Um, We're going to first jump into kids' questions. We've got two kids' questions, um, and that's at the bottom in that log-looking-like thing there. So kids, um, here are your questions if you're ready for them. First one says this, uh, read Proverbs 10, t- ver- uh, chapter 10, verse 19. Then try to hold your tongue and say the ABCs. Like, so like this, A, B, C. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but kids, I want you to try it and see once how you can do it. Um, it's hard to hold your tongue, isn't it? Holding your tongue can also mean stopping yourselves from saying some things that you shouldn't. When, and here's the question in this, when have you said something that you regret? Uh, What happened because of that? And then the second question is this, what can you do this week to think about what you say before you say it? All right, adults, it is your turn for group's questions. Um, Eric, over the message this weekend, spoke on the illustration of putting his foot in his mouth, in a way, right? Has there been a time, and maybe describe that time, of when you've put your foot in your mouth? Quick. 
Question number two, in what ways do you feel like you have control over your tongue? And then do the adverse of that. Um, in what ways do you not feel like you have control over your tongue? Read Proverbs 10, verse 19. You'll actually find that on the back of the group's questions as well. Uh, but read Proverbs 10, verse 19. And after reading this proverb, what did you learn about the advantages and disadvantages of multiplying or using a lot of words? What did, what did you read out of that? And then read Proverbs 27, verse 2. In what ways do you praise yourself? Could it be at school, at your job, in front of your friends or your families? Question behind this is, why do we do that? Why do we spend so much time talking about ourselves? Question number five. If you're not boasting about yourself, who are you boasting about? Um, think about the ways that you praise yourselves. How could you give that praise and that glory to God? Question number six. It says this, the fast for this week is silence for one hour. When are you going to do that? Try to pick a time and try to pick a time that's actually going to be something that is challenging for you guys. All right, groups, that is it for our normal groups content. If you have some time and want to dig a little bit deeper, you can check out that back page. Um, it goes into the story of Zechariah, um, and he was silenced for a time, and the story is, is pretty fascinating. So check that out if you've got time. Follow a few of those group questions. Otherwise, um, we're looking forward to seeing you guys next week um, as we continue in this series on sticks and stones and what it means to use our words in the right way. Um, I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you soon.